so let's have a look towards the froth flotation process now from in the physical method there are three method i have told you before was the froth flotation method electromagnetic uh, separation process or the magnetic process and the third is the gravity separation or it is also called as the hydraulic process so let's have a look towards the first process called as the froth flotation process now froth is nothing but it is the foam usko hum jhag bhi bolte hain ani marathi tara face hi manto apan so let's look towards the froth flotation process froth flotation is a very versatile method for physical process now froth flotation process is specially suitable for the concentration of sulfide ores now as in the previous lecture we have seen the types of the ores like uh, sulfide ore carbonate ores oxide ores silicate ores nitrate ores phosphate ores so this froth flotation process is used for the sulfide ores in that we can see the zinc blend galena copper gallons silver gallons iron pyrites and cinnabar so this process is used for the sulfide ores also we can see that it is less effective for oxide silicates and the carbonate ore so it is less effective for the oxide ore silicate ores and the carbonate ore but specifically it is more effective to the sulfide ores now the principle of the froth flotation process let's have a look this technique is based on the principle of different wetting characteristics of the ore and the gangue particles with oil and water means this is the principle for the wetting characteristics of the ore and the gangue particles they may stick to the oil or they may stick to the water so this is the main characteristics or the main principle of the froth flotation process the ore it may be wetted by the oil or it may be wetted by the water the sulfide ore particles are only wetted by oil and the oxide and the gangue particles are wetted by water only so the unwanted particles are being wetted by the water whereas the sulfide ore particles is wetted that is the moistened by the oil so here there is a diagram so here we can see that we are going to pass a compressed air then this is the froth bubbles then uh, the bubbles which are being that is the sulf here we can see that there are sulfide ore particles uh, in this tank there is a water which is also containing the pine oil and at the bottom we see the unwanted matter that is called as the gangue and from uh, this pipe we can pass the compressed air so let's have look towards the process now this process is based on the fact that the sulfide ore particles are only moistened by oil means the sulfide particles are moistened by oil while those oxide and the gangue particles are moistened only by water so as i have told you before that the sulfide ore particles are moistened or wetted only by the oil the oil which we are using in the process that is the pine oil which we are using whereas the oxide and the gangue that is unwanted particles they are being wetted or moistened only by the water now in this process the powdered ore is mixed with water and the pine oil pine oil is nothing but it is the foaming agent so here in this tank we are going to mix the powdered ore with water and the pine oil 
and the whole mixture is stirred vigorously by blowing the compressed air so we are blowing here the compressed air and then it is stirred vigorously so in this tank what is there there is a powdered ore water and the pine oil three things and then we are going to pass the compressed air the oil forms a foam with air so the oil which is there it forms the foam with the air also we are adding a depressant sodium cyanide is added to the mixture to decrease the association of gangue particles with the foam or the froth means sodium cyanide it is a depressant which is being used so that the gangue particles should not get attached towards the sulfide ore or we can say the foam also sometimes potassium dithiocarbonate that is k2coh2 may also be used as it accelerate the formation of froth accelerate means what it increase the formation of the froth for that purpose we are going to add the potassium dithiocarbonate dithiocarbonate the ore particles stick to the froth froth which rises to the surface while the rocky and earthy impurities are left in water means the ore particles stick to the froth which consist of the sulfide which rises to the surface while the rocky and the earthy impurities are left in water so whatever the unwanted matter is there it get stick uh, uh, it get mixed with the water and it get settled down at the bottom the froth is skimmed off skimmed means it is removed off collected and it is allowed to subside to get the concentrated ore means we are going to remove the froth we are going to collect it and then we are going to get the concentrated ore so here again there is a diagram so here as i told you before we are going to add what the sulfide ore plus water and the pine oil after that we are going to pass the compressed air and we are going to stir it vigorously also we are going to add the sodium cyanide so that the gangue and the froth does not get mixed with each other potassium dithiocarbonate is also add so as to accelerate the formation of the froth so when the compressed air is passed and when it is stir vigorously what happens the sulfide ore particles there there is a formation of the froth and this froth is then collected or it is again it is skimmed off means it can be removed easily whereas the gangue is being present at the bottom that is the earthy impurity get, get wetted and it gets settles at the bottom of the surface so we does not get the unwanted matter what we get is only the sulfide ore particles so this was all about the froth flotation process